All right, the front bearing has a snap ring that goes on it. It just presses in until that snap ring is down. This housing, this bearing just presses in until it bottoms out on there. On this bearing here, this presses in until it bottoms out and there's a snap ring that goes in that groove to hold it in place. Once I get that all pressed into place, because I gotta go to the arbor press, press my seal in, um, should be about ready to go into the case. All right, we're gonna put this uh, back together. We have these little dogs that go in. They have these raised areas that's gotta slide into the slots here. Oh, come on now. And then we're gonna take the hooked end of one of these and put it in the center of one of those. And then we're going to loop this around the others. And want to be most difficult this morning. Come on now. Get in your spot. There we go. Alright, that one is there. We're going to take this one over here and put it over here. flat side, we have a raised side, we have a flat side here, and we have a pointed side here. The flat side is going to face the flat side. Just push those in and let that start up on there. go. The bearings are pressed into the gear. We have our synchronizer. It's going to sit in here. You have to line those up with those. And we're just going to slide this whole assembly down onto here. this on camera. It's easier with it straight up and down. There we go. I'm just going to slide that all the way down. Our snap ring is going to have a taper to the tips. I want the short end facing up towards us. this pair a little bit stiffer all right see if I can do this facing away from me all right come on now Can't really see what I'm doing. Now 
there, or all the way into the groove. Get that up out the way. This is the pump that we're replacing. Uh, but I will go ahead and show you how it's put together. There's really nothing to it. These are in there much tighter than what they appear to be right here because I've already taken this apart so I could take pictures of it. Alright. We just have a inner and outer gear. It does not matter which direction that they go in there. There's a seal that's in here. The new pump comes with one, so I don't need to put it in there. Um, this is what it's going to look like, and of course this side is facing down. And we just line up our pump. It's got a recessed area, so it lines it up. And you just tighten it back down. And you want to make sure it turns, of course, when you get it tightened down. I'm not worried about how tight these are. There are, of course, torque specs to it, but this is not getting used, so it doesn't matter to me how tight it is. All right, I got some other pictures to take for the Patreon side, and then uh, we'll be ready to put this into the case. All right, we have our planetary. I have a plastic washer with two tabs that gotta go here. input gear, another plastic washer, two tabs got to line up, metal washer, and then our snap ring, we want the opening away from the opening, okay, <clears throat> there's a snap ring, and ring gear in here. Uh, you can take the snap ring out. The ring gear is not going to come out. You can try to get it out of there, but if this thing is screwed up, you're probably going to be replacing the case anyway. Really, not much point. We have our linkage it goes in here. On the outside here. ring that goes in here. And it actually probably be easier. Just push this back. Put our plastic. Come on, stay where you're supposed to stay. Put our plastic piece that goes in here. And then just put our linkage on inside that.
make sure it's pushed all the way down to the flat spot it sits on in there. Then we have detent and spring, our stop and plug, and it's got a uh, O-ring that goes on it. Make sure and change that out. Seven eighths on that. You can actually leave this out to the end if you want to. My seal for over here is wrong, so I'm put it in last. Let's see. I think we're gonna want to go all the way forward. Put our planetary in. I'm gonna have to put this over in a hole in the table. slider. Our fork goes on just like so. It's going to fit up in that uh, notch, that groove. This little piece right here. This fork here. We have these pads and notches on here. You see there there's a spot right there that's got to fit in that notch. Fork's going to go just like this. Okay. Have our gear. Our chains are going to go with the blue link up. We pull up on this a little bit until our gear will fit down inside of there. And this pulls back where it's supposed to be. The chain's going to be tight. I have a spring that goes on top of our linkage here. Our magnet is going to sit down in there. Put a small thin bead of silicone around here. Do not put very much at all. Over 
here, we got our filter that's going to sit on there. This is going to sit on top of the magnet, hold the magnet in, the magnet's going to hold that up. There is an o-ring that goes on here. Our pump is going to sit this side down and sit just on top right there. We're going to have to set this all down at one time, supplying our pump into our output shaft. be like that. I'm trying to get this on camera so you can see it. Alright, let me get my silicone on there. There are two dowel pins that go in there. Make sure that they're in there. You want to make sure this is a super thin layer of silicone because all it's going to do is squeeze that silicone out it's going to go down and it's going to get inside your filter so you don't want any hardly any excess We have two 15 millimeter bolts that have washers on them. Those goes on, go on the dowel pin areas, and the rest are 15 millimeters like that.
basically another thin layer of silicone. Our tabs have to line up in the tabs on here. I did forget this one 15 up here is this 10 millimeter tip 12 point. These bolts are 10 millimeters. There's a snap ring that holds this output shaft on. It's usually easier to just lay it down. Short end of the taper pointing out towards us. seals that I use. She can get Alright, to get your gear out, just pull it out. And if you'll look on the end of it here, right there, it's a tooth count, 30 tooth. We got our O-ring on here. Okay, if you 
look down here, there's a dot. And you look on your housing, I have numbers. 39 to 45, 32 to 38, 26 to 31. So any tooth count that's 26 to 31, this number is going to face towards that dot. Uh, bracket the uh, feet have to go in those slots and you just turn that until it lines up and 13 millimeter on that seal up a little bit. We're going to put a little lube on our shaft. see how to get those up into the splines. It does only line up one way, so you're just going to have to keep turning it until, until it does line up. You may have to flip it over. like that's it right there. Alright, we are done with this transfer case. You do not get it.
seven sixteenths. This is the same as any Chrysler, so you can get one off of that and change this out, which I'm gonna have to hunt one up. So let me hunt one up and then we'll put this on. Everything but the input shaft. We're not actually seeing what it would be for a special order. So I don't know if you want to text Greg and see if you got one. But I'll, I'll check it with someone else. Yeah, there's no, I'm not going to even, until she comes up with it, I'm not going to touch it. No, yeah, don't touch anything. <clears throat> all right, on all my seals, I use 3M weather strip adhesive. And we've already, or I've already marked my housing, so I know which way it goes. It will only line up one way, but uh, it just makes it quicker. Fifteen millimeters again. Okay, just in case I'm not able to put this on camera, after I put the seal in, the flange goes in. And there's this rubber seal that's got to fit into the grooves right there and go up around there and seal that. And we have our nut. We're going to lock tight it in place. Inch and... Uh, inch and an eighth on that. We have the snap ring goes on the front here. Short end of the taper out towards us. Alright, we're turning. Two wheel drive. Let's see what we got here. That's four high, I believe. Is neutral. And that's four high. Now that's four low. Neutral. Four high. Two wheel drive. Alright, we got it all.
there's an o-ring on our vacuum switch inch and a sixteenth on that On the front right here is our return for our oil. That's got to line up onto that. We're going to put a little grease on our input shaft so <clears throat> it slides over our seal easily. Ten millimeters for that. Yeah, I can't see, so turn this to where I can. Still turn. All right. Sometimes you get this seal, sometimes you don't. This one, I did get it. Up inside of here is another seal, and usually. You